here tonight giving needles to drug addicts. It may sound like a recipe for disaster, but it is happening here in Miami, and it could curb a major public health crisis in South Florida. CBS 4's Lauren Pastrana continues her investigation into heroin, the silent killer. But this time, she takes a look at how a brand new program could be helping not just users, but the entire community. Right there. Needles. Did you guys see any needles around the area? Used and dangerous. He does have a needle around him. We all have needles. Fill South Florida streets. A product of the ongoing and worsening heroin and synthetic opioid epidemic plaguing our community. There's a needle right there. Watch out. Boy, relax, relax. CBS4 first shared these shocking images last fall. Our ride along revealed first responders answering call after call of reported heroin overdoses. What happened? You okay? What'd you do? Where's the heroin? The use of powerful synthetics like fentanyl and carfentanil, strong enough to tranquilize an elephant, is also on the rise. Florida is, is being ravaged by opioids. The needles used to inject the potentially lethal substances are discarded in our streets and parks, or used again and again, increasing the risk of spreading diseases. But the work happening here in these repurposed shipping containers in Miami could help clean up the community and save lives at the same time. Dr. Hansel Tooks is a public health doctor at Jackson Memorial Hospital. While he was still a med student at the University of Miami, he decided to research the concept of a needle exchange and how it could work in South Florida. We found eight times the number of syringes on the streets of Miami over 300. It took years for the U.M. backed legislation to pass, paving the way for the IDEA exchange, the Infectious Disease Elimination Act. After four years of blood, sweat and tears, we finally passed the legislation. A lot changed in that time, though. The nation was reeling with a heroin epidemic, and Miami was not spared. Here's how it works. People can bring in used needles and get a new, clean one in return. Bring in 20 old needles, get 20 new ones. Get them clean and fresh tourniquets. The goal is to get the dirty needles off the streets and cut down on disease transmission like the spread of hepatitis and HIV in South Florida, which has one of the highest rates of new infections in the country. I thought it was great. This woman, whose identity we concealed for privacy reasons, says she's been using intravenous drugs for 13 years. How difficult is it to break that cycle? <laughs> Very hard. Have you been able to get clean before? And, and yes, when I'm in the hospital or in jail. <laughs> this day marked her third visit to the exchange. Cuts down on uh, like uh, diseases, hepatitis C and AIDS by getting new needles and not having to pick them up off the ground if you don't have money to buy one. On any given day here at the Idea Exchange, these shelves in the room behind me can be filled with up to 10,000 brand new needles. Now, that may sound like a lot, but people aren't just bringing in one used needle. I'm told one person once brought in 400. This is a, a program that's kind of hard to swallow for a lot of people. <laughs> you know, they think that the needle exchange is making people inject, and it's not. It's helping people stay healthy. The exchange is a pilot program, and Florida statute prohibits it from being funded with state, county, or municipal dollars. Dr. Tooks knows keeping the exchange open won't be easy, but he says it will be worth it. If we prevent two HIV infections, just two, we have paid for the program for a year because a lifetime treatment of HIV is about $380,000. Lauren Pastrana, CBS4 News tonight. And in case you're wondering, this is a pilot program that is not funded with taxpayer money. Dr. Toke says it will take about $500,000 a year to keep it up and running. That will come from private donations and grants. And since it first opened on December 1st, the Idea Exchange has served more than 130 clients and counting.